How come they got this bullshit AIDS epidemic story in Africa and they don't even attempt to cover our walkout story? That's nice. What the fuck were you guys thinking, huh? You guys are fucking idiots. Why would you walk out of school? Well, we were fighting for our civil liberties and such. <sighs> hey, listen, Mr. Matthews. Why don't you shut up and mind your own damn business? I'm gonna rain blows on you, Sean, if you don't shut the hell up. Well, that changes things. Ugh, answer the door, bitch. I can't take this anymore. Thank you. Don't fucking touch me. Yes? Mrs. Matthews? Mr. Matthews? I'm Corey, stereotypical Italian teacher. You wear a helmet? It's none of your fucking business if I have a helmet or not. Now is it? You gonna talk to these faggots? Yeah. Actually, I do want to. I'm gonna beat their asses for walking out on my Communist Manifesto teaching. Beat their asses. You're not gonna bust their heads, are you? Yeah, that's what I just said. So I was gonna do a lot better job than you, okay? Whoa, we just kinda get pushed into the kitchen? I mean, that's a major continuity error. We ac actually expect the audience to follow this shit? Oh, is that what you're gonna do, huh? No, teach me to be a communist. No, actually, there's a lot more dead people, usually. You guys got off easy. You didn't go on strike because you didn't have the one thing you need to go on strike. You know what you didn't have? 45 caliber semi-automatic bandings. You need to be producing for your people. It's a community, huh? That's the number one principle in communism. Haven't I taught you anything? you just little shits that don't know what the fuck is happening. That makes a whole lot of sense, Matthews. That a revolt is only as good as the automatic weapons that support it. No, no, that's my line. Someone copy and pasted it to your script by accident. You're just two kids playing way over their heads. Okay, now you can decide that you're still students and get back in school where you're sheltered and protected. Or I can offer you protection at a very high price. Are you going to pay for his protection or are you going to be outside and starve to death, huh? Are you going to be protected by him, or are you going to go outside, huh? Please, Mr. Turner, don't look at me like this. I guess we better talk to Feeny. Yeah, you better talk to fucking Feeny. Guys, Feeny's not going to go away. I mean, Feezy, Feeny is not easily accessible. I mean, it's not like he's going to be outside. That is a really bad joke. Do you realize that there's a writer that wrote that shit? Yeah, I do realize that. Shut the fuck up and get outside, you piece of shit, Mr. Turner. Hey, George, how's it going? You recognize these idiots? Hello, Mr. Turner. <sighs> what brings you here? I came outside to look at your fucking ridiculous hat. That's what I came out to do. Look, Mr. Feeney, we got it all wrong, because we read this book all the way to the beginning. Oh, huh. and what would you learn from it? Well, we learned you're supposed to fight back. You learned you got to fight against your bourgeoisie masters. Is that what you think, hmm? Family? Actually, I didn't even really read the fucking book. I just went on Spark Notes. Ah. Uh. I guess they don't. I mean, we're just kids. We're not really out in the world yet. Well, you know. If they had nothing to eat, nowhere to live. All they knew is that they deserved a decent wage. Something like that. And all we know is. Jack shit. And wherever there's a guy who don't know nothing, I'll be there. Yes, you do sound like a fucking homo. Yeah, actually, I read the movie, or watched the movie, something like that. I mean, now you're gonna look at me like assholes, aren't you? Hmm? Yes. Get the fuck in the house. Looks like they know jack shit about this book. No, I'd call that a poorly written script on a two-bit sitcom. Oh. Thank you. That's well. That's what we're here for. Get the funk out of my fence. <laughs>